59 V2V Easy Converter is a VMware to Hyper-V host-to-host -host conversion tool aimed at growing the Hyper-V ecosystem and helping companies around the world to make conversion fast and easy. To demonstrate product capabilities, let's have a look at VMware vSphere client 5.5. So we are logging in under the root and putting in the password and we're going to have a look at the virtual machines that are currently available on this uh, vSphere ESXi host. So uh, we have three virtual machines, these are CentOS, CentOS Web and Windows Server 2012 R2. We're going to convert two of them today, so I'm starting up with the very first one of them. It is CentOS, working in a desktop mode. And I'm logging in under the 5.9 software user to show you the available desktop and to show you that this is actually working a virtual machine. So inside, uh, you can see that there is a pretty common desktop. Of course, uh, we're looking at the computer. Uh, we're looking at 5.9's home folder. So uh, we currently know what's inside this virtual machine and uh, we'll be able to check that out after the conversion finishes. So I'm started up 5.9 V2V Easy Converter tool and uh, on the very first stage, I'm selecting the source. So this is ESXi host directly. So I put it in via an IP address and put in the username and password for ESXi. After the connection, I am able to select virtual machines and at this stage we've decided to pick up CentOS VM. Uh, and as you can see, all the parameters that are available for this virtual machine are also available to be changed during the conversion like hardware resources, automatic start and stop actions. On the next step, uh, on the select host step, I pick up the Hyper-V host that I'm going to convert the virtual machine to. So this is the current host, HV1 Hyper-V host. And uh, on the host resources uh, tab, I'm able to pick up virtual networks. Uh, and for this virtual machine, I decided to pick up the private one. On the temporary path step, I pick up the hard drive that will be used to store the virtual hard disk before the conversion and on the very last step, I can check out the summary, all the predefined settings that I've chosen. And I'm also able to start the virtual machine after deploying it on the destination host. So once I press finish, the virtual machine shuts down. And uh, we are downloading the virtual machine virtual hard disk to the destination temporary path that we uh, selected on the previous step. I'm fast forward in the process so it usually takes a bit longer please uh, be warned about that uh, after that step we are converting the virtual disk uh, we are converting CentOS uh, 1 VMDK file and generating virtual machine so you can see that we successfully just converted the CentOS virtual machine so we are able to check that out within Hyper-V Manager so we are checking Final Manager for that and you see, uh, I'm starting the console for CentOS virtual machine on Hyper-V1 host. So I'm logging in on the 5.9 software that we've just seen within the vSphere environment. And after the login, you'll be able to see absolutely the same desktop that was just available a few minutes ago within the vSphere environment. So we have successfully accomplished the conversion process of CentOS virtual machine from VMware 5.5 to Hyper-V environment. So host to host conversion was accomplished successfully. So let's shut that virtual machine down to keep the resources safe. And uh, we've used Final Manage for that again. This is it about the free version of 5.9 V2V Converter. So all the conversions are happening within the GUI interface. The paid version of 5.9 V2V Easy Converter uh, goes with the automation capabilities like common line interface commands and also PowerShell API. So this is a document that we are briefly going through. So as you can see, this is a very straightforward document. So it's very easy to follow, but it surely can save you a tremendous amount of time if you need to perform large scale conversions. So uh, if you need to convert uh, a large number of virtual machines from VMware to Hyper-V. Uh, as you can see, we are looking at the example of processing the results using pipeline. So let's probably use it and demonstrate that. So uh, before the conversion starts, we need to add PowerShell snap in 5.9 V2V. And after that, we run a 
uh, the pretty simple command that you could just see within the uh, documentation. So we perform the convert VM procedure and we pick up the SXI host, uh, the uh, username and password, uh, the name of the virtual machine and, and the switch that is going to be used with. So as, as you can see, we are also downloading uh, the virtual hard disk to the temporal location. Of course, all of these parameters can be also set via common line, so as a part of the PowerShell script. And uh, so we just successfully convert the virtual machine using the PowerShell script. So it's appeared within the Final Manager window, and we can start it now. So this the virtual machine was uh, recently running within the VMware uh, vSphere environment. So right now it's already present on the Hyper-V host. So Windows Server 2012 R2 virtual machine is starting up, and as you can see, all is going well. So this means we have successfully accomplished the conversion using the PowerShell API. And after the switch system starts, uh, we'll be able to see that this is a fully functional system, of course. So Finan VTV Easy Converter perfectly fits in converting production virtual machines from VMware infrastructure to the Hyper-V infrastructure. Tens of thousands of production virtual machines have been successfully converted from VMware to Hyper-V using 5.9 V2V Easy Converter. Thank you for looking at 5.9 V2V Easy Converter. We are wishing you luck in converting your VMware infrastructure to the Hyper-V. Thank you.